Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back. It's only been, what, three months? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, this is my first real upload in three months. Merry Christmas to everyone. Well, Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve to everyone. Today, I'm going to be showing off my new bedroom, which is Polar Express themed, and my Replica Hero Boy costume, which I have been working on for like the past few months. It's finally done, and I'm ready to show you all. All right, so here are the custom Hero Boy pajamas. Um, these are the first real piece. These are like the best piece of my costume, I'm gonna say. Um, they are custom made by my mom because I'll give the whole story sometime later. We got scammed, um, so my mom resorted to making these. They are like almost screen accurate. They're, they're the closest I've ever seen on a pair of Hero Boy pajamas because of one detail, the cuff. His cuff in the movie is exactly like this. And so that is pretty accurate. Here's all the pants and stuff. Um, so I'll be providing in the link where you can get all this stuff. Just go to Joanne Fabrics, buy the right, just buy a pattern that works for you and buy all the right kind of materials you'll need. You get, the bonus thing about making these is you get to pick your own fabric. So that's kind of perfect. Um, this is like the best kind of fabric. It looks a lot more yellow in person, which we picked that because the yellow tends to wash out sometimes because I had a pair and by the time that they were done, they were like practically white. So these are the Hero Boy pajamas. I'm gonna show you the robe now, which this robe right here is wonderful. It is a plush aqua blue robe. Now a lot of you are gonna say, Simon, that's not accurate to the movie. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, it is more accurate than what I've seen because a lot of people are gonna look at the photo of the cardboard cutout and say, oh, his is a really navy blue. Go look at clips from the movie. His is this color. It's, yeah, I'll even, I'll even include a screenshot from before they had actually colored, like before they had actually put like all the proper textures on the clothes. And don't tell me that the colors aren't perfect because they are. Um, so this one I will link in the description um, from Amazon. It is so comfy. I'm even wearing it outside of Hero Boy. So it, it actually ties really well. I have the original robe that I've been using for a few years over here. It's not the greatest. It's not in the greatest shape anymore, but it was pretty good when I first made it. This is just missing one detail, which is the hole, which I am too scared to make because I don't want to ruin this, but here it is. Everything. I mean, it goes a little bit low on the pants, but whatever. It's close enough. These are what make the costume absolutely perfect. I am going to say this up front. I'm going to claim that I have the most screen accurate Hero Boy cosplay of all time because of these slippers. These are exact, almost exact replicas of the Roy Rogers slippers that are worn in the movie. Now, they were real slippers back in the 50s, but I actually spent like a full on day going in using multiple different references and tracing over the original design to make it full high quality. So that's cool. Um, I kind of got the color wrong, but that's whatever. They are kind of dirty because I can't really wash them and I actually use them as everyday slippers. But I'll insert a shot like right here that actually show the slippers being worn. They look great. Um, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, the bell. Now this is one of my favorite pieces because if, as you may notice, this is almost screen accurate to the box in the movie. It's a little bit taller, but that note right there is exactly what's in the movie. Because if you didn't know, his name is Chris. And um, oh, I, I, I based this off of one of the shots in the movie where you can see Billy on his present. And like in the North Pole scenes, you can see the name tag that says Billy. I based this off of this because when you see his sister um, bring him the present at the end of the movie, you can see a tag. I just put Chris because I'm sure that's what it really says. And then this is 
one of the, this is the officially licensed replica bell, which means it's got this god-awful lettering everywhere. Not happy with that, but okay, it's like, this is something that I am really proud of. I made this, I traced over the movie frame, screen accurate bell note right there. If you want, I'll post these different designs because I have a bunch of them. You're gonna see more um, when I show off the um, room because I have like all the little details right. So that's it for the Hero Boy costume section. Now to show off the bedroom. Look at this. Oh, there's my tripod. Ooh. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm wearing the robe, so it's not on the bed, but I have my cutout here. Um, I'm hoping to get a conductor or hobo cutout for Christmas. That would be cool. And then this is what I was talking about. All these three things. Um, these are what are seen on his dresser in the movie. I have this Herpel Shimers one that I made with a screenshot of the actual picture with a custom designed frame that's like screen accurate. I've even found the exact font, which is perfect. Here's this. I found an image on Google of a bunch of Santas marching on strike or something, Walmart or something. And if you look closely, you'll see the text is just the opening dialogue, the opening narration over and over again. And then this was the first prop I made for this room. It is a screen accurate Saturday Evening Post magazine from the movie. Um, because they they made it, it was a lot bigger, this is smaller, but the the original never had the, the Discovery on it, so that was something cool. Um, I just threw these because they look like something you would have. Here's some Polar Express stuff, like for the actual movie. I have some replica tickets that I framed, and then here's the Blu-ray. Um, here's a Captain Kirk. He has bobbleheads, that's what I could find. I have these two little model airplanes. Um, there's a photo of me with Santa last year. I had my Hero Boy costume on. This was my old version, not great. Um, and then here's this. This is the first part of the room I really got done because I did the, I got these picture frames. I'm not gonna show this side on because it's not Hero Boy. That's just my normal bedroom side. But I did, the dartboard is custom made. These like pennant flags are also custom made based off the book. So I was going for like a mixture of the book and movie. Um, but oh, here's one of the bells that I've got. Yeah, this is the Hallmark ornament one. It doesn't work anymore, but it's from... Oh, look, you can see my reflection. Wee! This is from 2018. Look, there I am. Hi. Um, there, here's a leg lamp from A Christmas Story, because I did include some references to different Christmas movies. Um, but yeah, this dartboard is actually made out of construction paper with some thumbtacks hanging it up. I got all these different kind of, like, pictures from Goodwill. The pennant flags close up. It's literally just construction paper cut and folded. Um, and then, yeah, so there's that. There's the Hero Boy cutout that I got for my birthday. I thought he fit in here. Um, also, oh, here, right. This isn't really Polar Express, but it's a reference. It's the, here, it's the Jack in the Box from Elf. So this is also, note the bed. This, it's not accurate, but it's close enough for me. It's fine. I'm fine with it. So yeah, that's the end of the thing. Oh, I forgot to point this little thing out. This is a fake radiator heater made out of cardboard that I made. Um, even though it's not spray painted silver, it still is there and it looks okay-ish. I'll eventually make or buy a bigger one that's more accurate, but I mean, at least it's there and that's what really matters. So that's it for today. I will see you all later today because so many uploads. Um, bye.